guys, it's Alexis. Today I'm going to teach you all about the Foundation Single Crochet, or FSC for short. I think this is a really great stitch for a lot of reasons, and I hope that you're going to love it as much as I do, because I really feel like it changed my crochet in life. Not to be drastic or anything, but yeah, it did. What it is, is so you know normally you do a long chain and then you go back and work stitches into the chain to start your first row. Well, this scratches that, and instead you do the chain stitch and the single crochet at the same time. And it's awesome because then your first row isn't all like scrolling up on top of itself and the stitches aren't as tight, it's a little more soft and stretchy. And I think it's easier to actually work once you get the stitch down. So let's practice. I'm gonna teach you how and we'll go through it a few times and it's gonna be awesome. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, so I've got two samples here for you. They both are 12 single crochet. They're both crocheted with the same yarn and the same hook. But you can see there's a big difference. Um, this bottom one, I chained 13 and then went back and single crocheted in each chain. And this top one is my foundation single crochet. You can see it's stretchier. Um, this one is tight and this one lays nice and flat. And the chain one is all twisted and it's just more difficult to work with. And the chain sample, because it's twisting and tight, it seems a lot smaller. It can be, you know, blocked out, stretched out to be the same length, but the foundation single crochet is just so much softer, stretchier, and just easier to work with in general. So that is why I love it. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's do it. Okay, we're gonna start by attaching the yarn to the hook with a slip knot, and then we will chain two. One, two. And then you wanna insert your hook into that first chain right there and draw up a loop. And this loop is your chain part of the chain and the single crochet that we're gonna work at the same time. So that is like you're working your chain right there with that first loop. We're gonna drop another loop, and this is the start of our single crochet. You can see you've got two loops on the hook, just like you normally do, and we'll finish off the single crochet by drawing another loop through. So that is our first foundation single crochet. You can tighten that loop if you want, but that's the chain on the bottom. And then you can see the little V there is the posts of the single crochet stitch, and then the loop at the top, that's the top of our single crochet. So that's kind of like a chain one on the side. And then everything else is the foundation single crochet with the chain on the bottom and then the single crochet on top. That's the foundation single crochet. Chain, post, top. Okay, so to do the next FSC, you're gonna insert your hook into that bottom loop which is working as our chain and we're going to draw up another loop. And again, that first loop is the chain for our foundation single crochet. So now we're gonna draw another loop and this is starting our single crochet portion. So you've got two loops on your hook. We're gonna yarn over and go through both loops to form the single crochet. So you can see we've got two stitches there. On the bottom, we've got two chains and then two single crochets on top. Two chains two single crochets. And that is our second stitch. For the third stitch, you're gonna insert your hook again into that bottom loop, which is our chain, and draw up another loop, and that's the chain. Draw a loop through that to form the single crochet. You've got two loops on your hook, and through that to finish off the single crochet. And you can see we've got one, two, three chains on the bottom and three stitches on top. And that's our foundation single crochet. I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys because I really love this stitch. I've used it in several of my patterns, including the black cat slouch hat, my feather and fan baby blanket, and my tassel neckerchief. So if you wanna try out the stitch on a new pattern, go ahead and check out those three patterns. I'm gonna leave the links below. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I would love it if you subscribed or visited my blog. Happy making!